What is going on everybody? So it's the beginning of October and if you're a horror fan, we're already doing really well this month. Uh, I just saw the film Smile and I talked about it in detail and I saw a post from Shudder and they said that tonight, which it's way past that when I post this video, that at 10 o'clock that they were going to do a secret screening of the film. And the film that they were going to do a secret screening of is the new Dario Argento film, Dark Glasses. I am a huge fan of Dario Argento, and I know a lot of people have the complaint that later in his career, his material has sort of kind of fallen off from what his original vision was, and that people don't typically like his later work as much. But I was really excited at the premise of this and the idea behind it, and this movie didn't disappoint me. I really had a good time, and I look forward to talking about it in the review. Dark Glasses is directed by Dario Argento. Diana, a high-class prostitute, tries to escape from a serial killer, suffers a car accident that leaves her blind, and kills the family of Chin, a 10-year-old boy. So this film is very unlike Argento. It's less stylized than his earlier work. The color palettes aren't as vivid as you're normally used to, and it has a much grittier feel. But despite all of that, it still has its campy moments. It's really over the top. The story is goofy as hell, but it's a lot of fun, and it still builds up really good suspense. And although I don't feel like the twist is as good as some of Argento's other work, it's still totally worth watching. So as the as the plot description says, you have Diana who is a prostitute. She works more high class where she goes to these really wealthy clients. She has one in particular who's really wonderful to her and treats her really well. And what I love about this movie, and I, I want to say this right now because I feel like this isn't addressed enough, movies typically paint sex workers in a very negative light. This film does not. This film paints sex workers in a way that they are strong, independent people making a choice to do this as a career. And Diana is a strong character that from early on, she knows how to defend herself. She knows how to take care of herself. She's not stupid. And granted, there are some moments in the film that kind of fall victim to some tropes of what we see in 1980s horror films. I feel like a little bit of it is excused by the fact that she's newly blind and she's still trying to navigate the world. Early in the film, she goes to visit one of her clients and there's another prostitute who's visiting a client nearby and she leaves and she ends up getting killed right outside of the building by a person that we don't see their face we just see him strangle her and she's dead and the cops show up and then later on she is tracked down by the same killer and she ends up getting into a car accident killing this young boy Chin's entire family and she ends up going blind and she feels horrible about it. She's at home, she decides to go visit him in school, and she ends up getting him out of that school. The two end up uh, spending time together and being paired up in the most unlikely of ways to where she almost becomes like a motherly figure to him. And there's some goofy moments in between the two of them that I really appreciated. They were a lot of fun. We're introduced to Naria, who is the guide dog Diana gets in the film, who is the most adorable dog I've ever seen and is probably the standout of the show, in my opinion. Uh, just super adorable, super cute, and I really had a fun time with this. Once the killer kind of gets on their tail, the three of them, it's just like the most unlikely pairing of people, and like when, it, when it's occurring on screen, there's this scene in particular where they're like running in the middle of the woods, and they go run into this pond and they're attacked by these snakes and it just felt so 1980s cheese and I loved it. I honestly like this movie isn't perfect and I've seen a lot of complaints about it but I feel like it's a return to form for Argento and the fact that he was just having fun when he made this movie. And by having fun it meant that he was going back to the things that made his movies interesting. I think later on in his career a lot of the complaints that people have is that he took himself really seriously, which in turn, like, the material wasn't very serious. And so because you have those two contrasting things, they end up not making a really great film. This just seems like he was kind of stripped back and having a good time. And the, the reveal at the end of the film, who the killer is, it's not really anything special. It's not like, oh my god, it floored me figuring out who this was. But it was still a fun ride to get to that point. And that's what I think I respected more than anything about it was getting to the point that you like knew who the killer was and then the whole third act showdown between the killer and Chin and Diana and the dog Naria it was just 
wonderful. And I had a blast watching this, and I'm really appreciative of Shudder for doing these fun like screenings like this. It's so cool. I've been a Shudder member for a really long time now. And when they do things like this, it makes me even more excited to be a member on there because I know they had the rights to this film and it's supposed to be released sometime in the near future for everybody to watch. But to give their members that early access to be able to watch it live and streaming on there, super cool. I really respect them for it. And this is a blast. If you're an Argento fan in general or just a fan of Giallo films, you're going to have fun with this. You might not think it's perfect, but it's entertaining and I would go check it out. I just love that Dario Argento and his age now is still able to go make something like this. So have you seen Dark Glasses yet? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was a blast. I had some problems with it, but it wasn't enough to take away from the fact that I had a really fun time with this movie. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.